I'm Chance Kressinger. I'm fighting at 155, and I'm from Ankeny, Iowa, and I train with Round Kick MMA. Please welcome Chance, the Milkman Kressinger! I'm excited to come back to Cage Aggression. Uh, being on that card helped me I name get out there because I fought a very tough opponent and won. Austin Hubbard, I'm from Sterling, Illinois. I fight at Militage Fighting Systems in Asylum MMA. And you, Casey Christian, Taking every opportunity I can. I'm working constantly and this is what I love to do, so I'm trying to make it happen. I know Austin's a tough fighter. He's a good grappler. Looks like he's pretty pretty good in shape, but I'm a tough fighter, so it's gonna be a tough fight, I know that, but I always come ready and that's, I plan on winning. Uh, this is probably gonna be one of my toughest fights and more than likely my last amateur, so I plan on going out big. I'm very confident in myself and uh, I believe in what I do and no matter what, I, I feel like I'm going to win. I see the fight going the same as all my other fights go. Me with Getting the finish with my hand raised. Just want you to know, uh, no matter what, you're not going to finish me. I, I'm confident that I'm I'm going to be there, and I'm confident you're going to be there. But I, I feel like I'm going to finish you. So it's going to be a good fight, but I know I'm going to come out on top. We have made it to the main event here at Cage Aggression 15, dedication night one, the amateurs, and making his way to the cage. Chance, the milkman, Cressinger, out of Ankeny, Iowa, and representing Team Round Kick. Had a great chance to talk with him. Well, first I should say that, you know, Chance isn't a stranger to Cage Aggression. Um, we all know what he's capable of, an incredible fighter, and one of the things that he said he had been working on, he's been doing a lot of extra practicing, but he's been practicing with guys who are considerably bigger than him. What type of advantage do you think that would give you outside of the obvious, well, I'm, I'm fighting someone who's pretty strong, so I'm gonna fight guys who are, you know, stronger. What, 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 what's something else sort of out of the box that fighting someone bigger than you may be able to provide? Mental, mental clarity that, that you can, I mean, it's like running with weights on your ankles and then when you take them off finally, you feel faster, you are faster. Uh, sparring with somebody bigger than you, yeah, once you get into the cage and you look at your opponent, you're like, oh, he's 50 pounds lighter than who I've been training with for the past eight weeks. Mentally, you're like, ah, oh, this is no problem at all. Making his way to the cage, the champion, Austin Thud Hubbard, out of Sterling, Illinois, representing Asylum Gym and MFS. That's a pretty awesome nickname he has there, isn't it? It's a very great nickname. Yeah. It's very fitting. I like hearing some of the crowd chanting Thud. I think we've come full circle. Yeah. And uh, man, perfect, perfect main event tonight. Yeah. Great guy, we talked to him a lot. Yeah, and you know, Austin's really humble, but he was saying that he feels really confident going into this fight because for the first time, and, and he can't even remember how long he's walking in to the Octagon tonight with no injuries. And just to think of his performances that he's put on before, knowing that he was injured and had little nicks and scrapes and different things going on, I'm, I'm almost afraid to see what type of fighter we get tonight with him 100%. Uh, it's got to be a good feeling, too. Walking in, no injuries, 100%. And yeah, we're going to see a different animal tonight, which, yeah, that's scary. Very scary.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening, scheduled for five three-minute rounds in the cage progression amateur lightweight division. Introducing first, our challenger, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in at 153 pounds. He trains with Team Round Kick and is sponsored by Max Muscle West Des Moines, Talon Fight Gear, and Maximum Fitness. Joining us from Ankeny, Iowa, Chance the Milkman, Kritzinger! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and weighed in at 155 pounds. He trains with Asylum Gym and Militage Fighting Systems. He's sponsored by Hubbard and Sons Construction, Be Free Chiropractic, Graphic Signs, and Smeltzer Insurance. Joining us from Sterling, Illinois, he's your current cage progression amateur lightweight champion, Austin Here we are, the main event. Let's go, Austin! Gentlemen, it is my honor to be here with you two warriors. You have five rounds to bang for the cage aggression amateur lightweight title. We went over the rules in the back. Red corner, do you have any questions? Blue corner, do you have any questions? Fight clean, fight fair, fight hard, touch gloves. Let's do this. All right, let's try that again. Here we are, the main <laughs> event. Cage Aggression 15, Chance Kressinger versus Austin Hubbard. Amateur Cage Aggression lightweight title on the line. Round one, Bruce Allen is the referee. Let's do it. Let's go. Lightweight. I can't, I mean, I, let's start off with that. We're watching lightweights. I will not ever be coming back to fight for cage aggression if the lightweight champion is Austin Hubbard. Pressing you're getting some off. I feel like we're already seeing more kicks from Hubbard than we've seen before, or at least attempting them. Big swing, but turns it into a big takedown. Huge takedown right there by Hubbard. I like how he completely missed, but turned it into directly right. into a takedown. That, yeah, that's and that's, that's using the momentum of you know something that could have been really bad. Kressinger doing a good job being on one hip right now, trying his best to stay active. Hubbard's just so strong and. It, thinking that, I mean, if I do not want him on top of me in a fight. I will do everything I can to, to squirm out of that. <laughs> Hubbard lets him up and we go back into the middle of the cage. Kressinger lands a shot. I like how Kressinger is being active right now. Yeah, and he is. he's landing more. Uh, big shot to the body too. Big kick. Not you know not giving Hubbard any respect at all, and which he shouldn't be in a fight no, like this. No. I do. I feel like we did that. Hubbard is just low. We're waiting for that one big shot to come through. But uh, nice hand work from Kressinger. Big body shot that that folds over Hubbard too. What happens is so oh, big shot nice again. Left. Both of these guys yeah, swinging for the yeah, fences this is right now. Event for a reason. Nice shot there by Kressinger. Right there too, uh, Kressinger kind of stopped on an uppercut, but if he would have let it go all the way through, it may have landed. Kressinger's punches are a little bit more swift and fast than Hubbard. A little sharper. Ooh. Wow. Oh, big shot. Big knee. 
We call that a two-piece. Unintentional eye poke. Yeah. One of the things that I was noticing, and I was just about to say it, but something told me I probably shouldn't, but one of the things I was noticing with Hubbard was that he was sort of lunging with his punches. Exactly he wasn't loading them up. Yeah, he wasn't exactly loading them up, and he was just sitting yeah, there. He was. He was lunging, uh, right. leaning into him more, and that's that's why I said before that Kretzinger's shots were coming off swift and quick. He was getting them back, uh, you know, almost, it's like a swimming shot. Right. We are going into the second round here, the co-main, uh, excuse me, the main event for Cage Regression 15. Austin Hubbard got a, got a nice two-piece off at the end of the first round, looking to capitalize on that. Oh, very nice combo right there by Kressinger. There's one of those thuds by Hubbard. Kressinger is starting. He's doing the inside kick and then coming in with two more. He's doing very well with combos. Oh, Superman punch by Hubbard. Once again misses and goes straight for the takedown. Strong takedown by Hubbard. Another takedown by Hubbard. Now, like you said earlier, he's got to do something and make those worthwhile because right now they're, they're takedowns, you get points. But what do you do now, like you said earlier? You gotta create a little bit of space, pop up, drop a couple shots down, then go back down. And that, that's gotta be the recipe for, you know, about a minute when you're on the ground. You don't wanna, you know, can't see too much from my angle right now, but. Right now, Kressinger needs to be kicking the knees of Hubbard. He needs yes. to be, you know, he's not doing that at all. He needs to be just shooting that leg straight out, you know, right, right above the knee. I like how he came around with that kick, too, and kind of curl it in. Big, Big shot, shot there by Hubbard. Hubbard. Right. And the intensity level just turned up a million percent in the second round. Oh, nice. Kressinger's landing those those shots like that one too, but they don't seem to be phasing Hubbard too much. But he may be also playing like they're not either, and they're really registering. right. Another one of those lunging attempts by Hubbard. Oh. <laughs> and once again, slipping, but just decides to throw a big baseball swing in there. Why not? Very nice jab there by Great Preston. counter. One for one. I mean, he couldn't get any any better counter than that. Nice up kick from Pressinger. He is Man. still <laughs> I am so impressed tough by round, this fight. Tough round to call. Yes. But Hubbard, too. I mean, I hope his corner says that those, those pawing shots, you can do that sometimes. But get, get a few crisp ones that, that shoot straight out. Here, here we are, the third round. Spinning back hand yeah. coming. It was right there from Kressinger. Nice body kick from Hubbard. Nice kick from Hubbard to the body. Kressinger answers with a couple shots of his own, though. Great countering, counter shots from Kressinger. Yeah, very good. Ooh. Nice jab there by Hubbard. And he, see, he sees that kick's open and open, so he's just exploiting it right now. Hey, 
Big shots from Hubbard back to Kressinger. One of the things that Hubbard is doing a little bit too much of is sort of telegraphing his shots. You can really see him loading them up. And you face a counter puncher like Kressinger, and he's going to make you pay for and that. He's doing a great job of just sta staying still, not getting too crazy, and just answering with one or two right back at him every single time. There was a couple, couple from Hubbard coming through. Not a lot behind them, but still registering. Nice, <laughs> very nice kick. high kick. Right as I say that, he says, "Oh yeah," and throws a head kick and lands it. Ooh. Very nice question mark kick. Almost landed right there. Nice sprawl from Kressinger. Oh. And I love how he shoot, throws a shot off the, the breakup yep. like that. That's the difference of uh, a championship fights and not. And both of these guys right now are taking a lot of shots to the head, to the face. Yeah. Oh, Big very fight. nice front kick. Oh. I love that left hand straight that comes from Kressinger. Oh. And Kressinger is taking a lot of shots. That lead leg is taking a lot of shots. And so I'm wondering how good is he's going to be able to stand on it. Oh, Big strong punch or huge kick right there. Kick from, from Austin. Oh. And Kressinger shows nothing. He shows no. It's like it didn't even hurt, and we heard it here just yes. erupt through the, you know, the cage, but shows nothing. At this point, Hubbard is, is, is just a few inches away from landing one of these really strong punches. But it looks like he's getting more tired than Kressinger, though, at this point, because the shots that he's throwing are exerting more energy than, than the crisp shots that Kressinger's still throwing. So I wonder in these fourth and fifth round, you know, if he's gonna lose that energy, you can't, you know, throwing baseball type swings are good when they land and they're right. terrible when they don't. Right. If I'm Kressinger, I don't really want to change up too much. You've shown that you've been okay on your back. You've also shown that, that you're okay standing up. So his combinations that he's been throwing, I think those are really working. Um, he's definitely Chris, more crisp with his yeah. form. Um, if, if I'm Hubbard right now, the one thing that I want to think about is tightening up my form and looking to land a, a, a few more of those shots. I think the kicks are, are definitely working. So I might want to go a few kicks to the body, maybe to the lower body, and then try to catch him with a, yeah. with a jab up top, with a shot up top. And that's what I'm going to say, too. Uh, exactly. Hubbard needs to get a little more crisp. And I was going to say for Kressinger, uh, it's, it's a cliche term of punches and bunches. Instead of throwing, you know, two, two return, two combo, or two counter shots, throw five, four, five, boom, 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 boom. And really swarm Hubbard as he looks like he's getting tired, you know. We are in the fourth round here at Cage Aggression 15. Title fight, Chance Kressinger, Austin Hubbard. Oh, a big shot, shot from shot Hubbard. Hubbard. Both guys this is the telephone. Right now. It's the telephone booth punching <laughs> right there. Boom! Big Good take down, down by Hubbard. Hops into half the almost got full mount. And you, you can you can even feel the intensity change oh God, in the fourth yeah. round yes, for this. I definitely. mean. We are in the championship rounds right now. Very hard right now at this point too to get off submissions. Your sweat, uh, sweat right now. Austin Hubbard looking to drop a big shot down. Probably gonna let him up again after peppering up his thighs and legs again. But even right there, as he gets up, as soon as he's up, you gotta be swarming him. Right there, too. It's, that one came in slow. Nice switch kick. I think you can tell a little bit more in this round as it goes on that Kressinger is getting a little more sloppy with his form, and that. 
that may have been really what was, you know, keeping him involved in the fight early on. Yeah. He's going to have to tighten that back up. And this is where you got to dig deep. I mean, it's the middle of the fourth round. Oh. Everybody's tired. They Both fighters have taken a ton of shots and not really shown much, you know, damage from another body kick from Hubbard sneaks through. Nice counter again. Austin Hubbard maybe looking to get to the body on there. Lands one in the, in the head. A nice answer from Crescent. You're going right back at him. Right there even too. Hubbard's got to push the pace a little bit more uh, if he wants to keep that title. Nice leg kick from Crescent. You're right there. But when they've got him on the fence that close, you've got to put pressure right there. He's got to yep. pressure yep. right there. Got, he's still kind of circling out, but God, I mean, 10 seconds up against the cage. You've got to push the pressure. Body shot comes in. That's definitely what his corner is going to tell him. If he yep. wants to keep that title, you've got to push the pace when he's up against the cage. Exploit it. Three minutes left. So what you do is. You get in there, you go, you, you throw caution to the wind. That's why I said this is the time for a five, six hit combination. All right, we have made it to the fifth and final round here. Cage Aggression 15, dedication, first night. Can't ask for a better main event than this, man. <laughs> and you can hear Hubbard's corner telling him to bite down and go. That's exactly what you have to do at this point. I mean, he, he's taking so many oh. shots. Big uppercut landed nice right there. He's got to go in and pressure and, and get in on him. You look. Nice side kick from Pressinger. Yeah. Very nice kick there by Pressinger. There you go. And even more. Like, when you do those, you got to get maybe two more in. I know it's they're tired and easy for us to say, but at this point, you know, with the clock ticking back and you're almost done the fight, you rest tomorrow and hang out. Nice takedown and things like that may may take the fights at this point in the, in, point in the fight, in point in the exactly. round. Exactly. And he knew he knows that, and that's why he's a champion too. He, and this is more of his style too to kind of end fights like this when he's on top like this and just kind of pound out and pound out the win. <laughs> and that's what we were talking about before. Exactly, yep. Wait till they're up and go. And that's a perfect time to land something. You're on your feet, but you're really not on your feet. Nice kick. At, at this point, it's definitely who wants it more. Both of these guys are totally exhausted. Yeah, you can, you tell. can tell, though. I mean, it's the, the intensity level, again, just jacked up another for this final round. Flying the follow by combination. Solid left hand there by Hubbard. Nice kick from Crestinger, but Hubbard answers right again. Nice switch kick, a little wheelhouse kick. And Crestinger takes it and keeps moving. <laughs> Very nice jab there by Hubbard. Ooh. Nice knee from Hubbard. Once again, here's that moment in time where you just you throw it out there. You yes, hand you, go. you can you can win it right here. It's still up for grabs. Yep, here's where the, where the rock 'em sock 'em that hopefully comes into play. Nice leg kick. Ten seconds left in the fight. Gotta go. You gotta go right now. He's got him up against the cage. There you go. Got it. End strong. Another cage aggression, incredible main event. Great main event. Like I said to you, they never disappoint never. the main events. Never. You knew going into this you were going to get a fight like you're hoping. 
hoping to get a fight like that. You get it? Cliche term again, got to beat the champ to be the champ. So, I think he did enough to keep his title tonight. Yeah, I, I, I kind of think so too. You, you never know exactly how judges are going to see something like this, but. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard for our decision. Our, star, our scores are 49, 46, 49, 46, and 50, 45, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, and still, Page Progression Amateur Lightweight Champion, Austin The Hobber! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your reigning, defending, cage aggression, amateur lightweight champion, Austin Hubbard. Austin came out looking in great shape, man. Really looked like you were able to dictate where the fight stayed and went, and uh, really looked like you were able to fight your fight for the most part against a guy who kept coming at you. What, what started going through your mind there in those uh, championship rounds, Austin? I was trying to do what I trained to do, you know? I prepared for wars and I was ready for it. I, I take my head off to him. He's a very tough opponent. And uh, I'd also like to thank all the fans, coaches, teammates, everyone who helps make this possible, everyone here. Now, as all, it's, always a, it's always a pleasure to watch you in the cage, the Christian cage. Um, but I, I think I missed a, a small announcement there in your uh, pre-fight package. You want to share that announcement one more time with everyone? I, uh, I think that was my last amateur. And it's time I take this next step and get ready for my pro. There we go. Well, once again, developing fighters from the ground up. And uh, again, always a pleasure to watch the, the work that you and your coaches put in and the culmination of that work here in the cage, Austin. Is there anything that you might have been left out or anything I might have missed before I let you get to the celebration? Uh, thank you for everything, everyone. <laughs> All right, well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, last time you're going to hear this tonight, your cage progression amateur lightweight champion, Austin Hubbard. That's going to be night number one in the books for our two-night event, our all-amateur card list tonight. I hope to see everybody here again tomorrow night with about three or four of your friends for our all-professional card, three professional titles on the line, all here at the River Center tomorrow night. I'm Jason. I'll see everyone here tonight tomorrow.